Hi, and welcome to EduSlam, where we take about five minutes to interview some of the world's most innovative educators. Um, I'm Tanya Averth from Montreal. I'm Holly Clark from San Diego, and we're super excited to have Kathy Cassidy today. So, Kathy, take it away. Thank you. It's great to be here. I'm just going to share my desktop with you so that I can show you what I want to talk about. This is my classroom blog, and of course it's full of my gorgeous, adorable children, and so it's very appealing. But the really wonderful thing about this blog is on this side. It's the blogs that belong to my children and the way that they show their learning. And actually they've become digital portfolios of their learning. I'm going to take you to one of the students' blogs. This is Adam's blog. So Adam is six years old, he's just learning to read and write and do math, and he's sharing that with the world. So for example, you can see here there's a little video about his numbers from 10 to 20. Here he wrote a, drew a picture of Mario and what he was going to be for Halloween. He's got a picture of, um, of another artwork that he did. He's got something he took with a camera. Um, a screenshot of something he did on his iPad, another little video to share his learning in health, and so on. He can put anything on this blog. Of course he can write, as he's done here, and I've put what he wanted it to say in brackets. He can also put pictures that he takes with an iPad or with a camera can go on here. He can put video, basically anything that has an embed code can go onto a blog and then it becomes a digital portfolio and the wonderful thing about using a blog as a digital portfolio is that it's date stamped automatically and that each individual entry is commentable. Their parents comment, people we've never met can comment and be part of the children's learning. Powerful, powerful tool for my children when they know that they have an audience and that people are coming and seeing the work that they're doing. It's powerful for students of any age, but especially when you're only six. Mm -hmm. Blam! Yeah, blam! <laughs> but I have questions, so I can't let you off the hook so easily. Um, okay. So how do they choose what they're going to put on the blog? And do they put, like, what's the process there? Well, the students don't do all the choosing. At first, with the tools and so I'll say oh, today we're all going to do a screenshot of what we're of our sight words on the iPad so that we can share that and then they know oh that's something that we can share and as the year goes on they get more and more choice I might say we just all painted a picture if you want that on your blog take a picture if you don't you don't have to um, or I they make they do things like that they make um, in their free time, they they sometimes make little things and they think well, that should be on their blog because that's part of their learning and and I say yeah go for it and so as the year progresses they get more and more choice they get choice in how they share their learning and they get choice in in what they share. Do they okay. put in their own posts or do do you guys have someone helping them? Are you doing it? How how do you do it with first graders? Well, um, right now I'm one to one with iPads. And so that makes it so much easier because everybody can just take their own picture. It takes a lot of teaching. This is how you take a good picture and this is how you use the camera. And then this is how you put it into the blogging tool. But really on an iPad it's, it's pretty seamless. Before we had the iPads I would put the HTML in for them because that was, that was a lot of work. But now you just put the picture in and the blog creates the HTML for you. I use EduBlogs. Fabulous. Yeah. I saw you use EduBlogs. Is that seamless with the iPad then? Yes. Okay. All you have to do is go to their camera roll, choose the picture or the video, and it pops in and makes, makes um, an embed code. Okay, that's fantastic. And then one other question about parents. How do you, uh, you know, make parents feel comfortable with this process? Um, well, I tell them about it in, a, in a, the first week of school, we do our first post. The second week of school, well, and I get the permission slip and all that stuff. The second week of school, I have the parents come in and I talk to them about what we do in our classroom and they're on board. And this year I did something a little bit different. I started a Facebook page and every time 
I put um, every time I put something on the blog, I just put the link on that Facebook page, and now all the parents have liked that page, and so the parents are on the blog all the time, more than ever before. Hmm. Wow. Okay. Well, thank you. Slam, 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 slam. <laughs> And we are so honored that you joined us in this um, show. Can you tell us a little bit about yourself for the people who uh, watched? Sure. I teach grade one, which is first grade, in Moose Jaw, Saskatchewan, Canada. Woohoo! <laughs> and you're an Apple Distinguished Educator. Oh, that's true. I am. <laughs> um, and you also um, you also you also on Twitter a lot, right? You have first chats. I am I am on Twitter, yep. And and I fairly regularly go to first chat. And here is the exciting thing: I wrote a book. What? I wrote a book, and it was just published last spring. It's called Connected from the Start: Global Learning in the Primary Grades. Oh, good. Oh, I wow. and, and how people can start. It's for people who want to start connecting their classrooms. Well, how do we get your book? Where do we go to get it? Um, well, you could search for it on Google. It's, <laughs> <laughs> um, it's published by PL Press. It, they're a, um, a new publishing company. I was, in fact, their first book. And so if you go to their um, PL Press page, then you can find it there. Or I gave you, actually, a link to it in all that information that I sent you at the beginning. Fantastic. So you'll find it under this post. Thank you so much, Kathy. We we My look pleasure. forward to having you back again. Well, yeah, it's a pleasure. Pleasure. in the classroom, you're going to be learning and doing all kinds of new great stuff, and we want to hear about it. All right. Okay. Well, thank you. Thank you. Yeah.